Good morning, you guys. I'm right here in Hollywood Boulevard yet again on May 10th, 2022. Today, I'm gonna to do something a little different. Something I always wanted to see when I was a kid. That is an event with the Hollywood Walk of Fame. All right, you'll find out in a second, so here we go. So, today I'm gonna finally see James Hong. I'm a big fan of James Hong, by the way. He's been in like up to 600 plus movies and shows. God knows how many stuff he's been in. <laughs> but I gotta say, I am a big fan of this guy and yeah, I love him. I think he's he definitely deserves this star for the Hollywood Walk of Fame coming up. So a couple of more people are showing up. I won't say who for, for now because I want to leave it as a surprise for all your Marvel fans as well. So this is pretty exciting to see James Hong getting his star. He was recently in Turning Red, by the way, if you want to know where, where he recently has done, you know, as of 2022. He's 93 years old and he's also in big trouble in little China. Sorry, I lost the train of thought for a second, but hey, it's one of my favorite comedies from the 80s. So it is exciting to see um, James Hong doing, you know, getting his star as I mentioned. All right, so I'll be updating for a second and I'm, we'll see how it goes, you know. Well, look, everybody, lots of fans are showing up for, for James. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. <laughs> Say hi. You don't mind it, right? <laughs> so, yeah, the last time I was here was only for the Animation is Film Festival. You might remember, you know, what happened with these two days, you know. You know, it's already on. The title cards are already up, up there if you've ever seen it. But, yeah, that was the last time I was in, in Hollywood. <laughs> Just for an animation event, but something special. You you might remember that. Yeah. So ceremony won't start till an hour. I got here as early as possible, just to get the best I could, you know, for for B-roll footage and other things. By other things, I mean you know, good quality videos. Just set, just start setting up now. You got it. Oh, <laughs> almost hit me. <laughs> uh, I think this is a good spot. Again, I've never done this before, so I'm planning to do another one. So I'm planning to do another ceremony. I'm planning for a Milan Gwen one, which I almost got a chance to meet her again. I did see her at D23 Expo in 2019, but almost got the chance to meet her in LA Comic Con, which never happened. Hopefully next time I will. Okay, turns out they're relatives to James Hong, which is awesome. Wait, but I'm not done. No, wait, thank you. Miss? I'm oh, sorry. Oh, 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 my sorry. acting teacher, but he couldn't help me. <laughs> That's why I'm here. <laughs> That's why I'm here. <laughs> He's very good, but I'm not. This is recording gold, by the way. <laughs> you know what? So far, I'm having a good day. I'm already having a good day, and he hasn't showed up yet, so. Yeah, I, I love vlogging. Look, Chip and Dale. It's coming up in two weeks, you guys. So don't forget to watch Chip and Dale. Hopefully it's good, you know, because the references and such. I mean, why did they put a lot of Nickelodeon reference on a Disney movie? Hey, okay, guys, it's starting to feel um, more packed in, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's starting to get busy, which is good. Thank you. 
Hi, my dude. name is Lupita Sanchez Cornejo, and I am the chair of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce Walk of Fame ceremony today, and to wish you all a happy Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month. The Chamber is all about transforming lives through business opportunities. Today we are celebrating a business that transfor transfor transforms us, show business. Show business is a unique blend of art and business. It is beyond entertainment and it elevates and inspires us all. That is why we are here today. And it's why I'm so proud to, hear, to be here with my colleagues to host all of you. Before we start, I would like to give a shout out to our fans watching around the world on our live stream presented by our part, media partner, Variety. Today, Hollywood honors James Hong. Woo! With the 2723rd star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in the category of motion pictures. Let me tell you a little bit about our honoree. James was born in Minnesota and studied engineering. He worked as an engineer for, for more than seven years and eventually quit to pursue acting full time. He began his career in an era in Hollywood where white actors would routinely play Asian actors. He quickly realized that Hollywood wouldn't be able to provide the roles that Asian Americans deserve to be deserved, so he set out to carve out his own space and to bring others along. Along with actor Mako Iwam Iwamsudo, Hello, Mako. James helped organize an Asian American acting group in Los Angeles, which became the legendary East West Players. nurtured great talent over its 57 years. At one point, approximately 70% of Asian American actors in Hollywood had a connection to East-West players. Besides a massive feat, James is also one of the most prolific actors in Hollywood history. Having amassed a total of 700 credits, which include 469 TV shows, 149 feature films, 32 short films, and 22 video games. <laughs> he has been in iconic films like Blade Runner, Chinatown, Kung Fu Panda, Move On, television shows such as Seinfeld, Kung, Kung Fu Panda, The Paws of Destiny, <laughs> Train red. The latest, the latest credits include everything, everywhere, all at once. Yeah. Turning red. Yeah. And his upcoming films include Gremlins, Wendell and Wild, and Patsy Lee and the Keepers of the Five Kingdoms. James is the oldest honoree to receive a star on the Walk of Fame. In addition to acting, James is involved with many philanthropic groups, including the Society of Brain Mapping and Therapeutics, the Variety Charity Foundation, the Wounded Warrior Project, the Chinese Chamber of Commerce, Golden Dragon Parade, and much, much more. Without further ado, let's welcome James Hong. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Before we hear from James, there are two guest speakers here to say a few words about our honoree. Our first 
first speaker today comes from Hollywood royalty. She is an actress, producer, director, inventor, and author. You have seen her in, in the following films. But the other day I figured out why James personally asked me to say a few words. James and I met the first day of shooting of our breakaway hit A24's Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, starring Michelle Yeoh, Kikwan, Stephanie Sue, written and directed by the Daniels and produced by Jonathan Wong. James plays the patriarch, Gong Gong, the visiting patriarch of this immigrant Chinese family who disrupts the status quo of their quotidian life. I play an IRS auditor, Deirdre Bo Beardra, who's also a disruptor. And James and I were drawn to each other from that first day. We bonded. We held hands. We laid on the floor and we looked in each other's eyes and we found mutual respect, real trust, and a mild and totally appropriate film set flirtation. But, oh stop it. <laughs> but what we really understood is that we were both survivors. And so because of this intense connection, I get to stand here today to talk about one of the greatest and most talented survivors. James Hong. I'm going to do it and dance. Watch this. That's why they give me Golden Globes. Watch this. He can do it all. He can dance. He has survived 93 years. That in itself is a fucking feat. And his study of engineering, as we've heard earlier, brought him here to Los Angeles where because of the scarcity of roles for Asian American actors, he along with a fellow actor organized an acting group here in Los Angeles, which became the legendary East Wizard players, creating a safe space, uh, creating, he created a gathering place for other Asian artists that has nurtured talent for 57 years of existence. I understand, shut up. <laughs> this is your moment, darling. Just relax. 
He's a passionate performer. He's a hilarious presence on set, as my fellow film partners can attest. Uh, he's shown up in films which you've already heard about. But I also think uh, we share a commitment to ambition, to hustle, and flow, and fun, and creativity you must have to survive a career and show off business and the film and television Love. His contributions to his fellows and community, his activism, his fearlessness, has created a path for others, and most important of all, like the true message from our little movie called Everything Everywhere All at Once, uh, which was a little movie that could and can and did and is continuing to fucking slay <laughs> the center of that movie. And the center of James Hong, stick around, this is the, the emotional part. I'm going to cry now. Yeah, just relax. This is, I'm going to get very emotional now. The center of the movie, everything, everywhere, all at once. And the center of James Hong, the human, is kindness and love. And those two qualities in him and from him continue their concentric circle of influence and transformative change in people who watch him and who know him be very much included. So I count my blessings as one of the great uh, blessings in my life is my relationship with you. But you really need to hear very little more else from me except you heard me swear. I'm sorry if there are children present, but it's about time that we are here honoring <laughs> Bless you all. And God bless James Hong. Actually, I don't know how I'm going to survive this day with all this compliments. You know, my head's growing too big. Just like a big trouble in little China. Well, this is everything, everywhere for all of us, so thank you. Los Angeles City Council Member Mitch O'Farrell to present you with a beautiful resolution from the city. Thank you so much, Lapita. Are there any James Hong fans here today? Yeah. I am so honored to be here. James Hong is in all of our living rooms. Growing up, he is part of the American family since at least the 1950s. You are part of the American narrative, and I can't think of anyone with as many credits ever that I've heard of. So it's it's there's just too much to distill in one brief speech with all of his accomplishments, but it's been said, and it can't be said enough, that this great American, this great military veteran, deserves this star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, so fans the world over can come and celebrate this great man. He is an icon of the American cinema and television industry. I want to thank the Chamber of Commerce for honoring uh, Mr. Hong in this way and for bringing these star ceremonies so that fans local and, and from further away can come and enjoy this incredible resource. Uh, the boulevard is open and ready for business. We invite residents and tourists to come and enjoy Hollywood the Walk of Fame, nowhere else in the world. And now it is blessed with the star of Mr. James Hong. So with that, a token of our gratitude from the city of Los Angeles. <laughs> On behalf for of the that, Hollywood guys. Chamber of Commerce, we now declare today James Hong Day in Hollywood. Yay! for all of you that Mr. Hong planned out himself 
and we are going to surprise you now. So before we um, hear from him, we are going to unveil the stars.
Jimmy Lee Curtis. <laughs> I actually do like Jimmy Lee Curtis. You know, he's the, you know, he's the nephew of Game Tom. Mm -hmm. He brought his son to one of the Kung Fu Panda voice recording tapings. They got to see him tape the voice for Kung Fu Panda. So he said that was pretty cool. It's great, actually. Yeah. I mean, my friends, I have friends who are voice actors, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. so I know I know the experience yeah. of voice actors. Yeah. Even my mom wants me to be, become a voice actor, but, oh, yeah. um, be but cool. I just want to be an animator. I just want to make movies. Oh, yeah. Voicing, I'll maybe do something. <laughs> Yeah, but I know James can do a better job than me. <laughs> I mean, my voice is okay, but if people want my voice, then I'll do it, you know. Because right. usually with voice acting, you have to use the voice first. Then the performance. Usually, sometimes you have to use the performance and then the voice. Depending on, if you're doing a cartoon, then you can do the voices. But right. if you need somebody yeah. who needs a natural voice, then yeah, yeah. I can do yeah. that. That's true. Yeah, because sometimes they, if they shoot that, like the animation, they probably you know, map it to the voice, right? Yeah. So you do the it's performance called, called first, right? Instead, yeah. Yeah, they have to dub every time to, to make sure it matches. Yeah. Especially for other languages, yes. well. Did James also did um, other languages as well? Or just in only English? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I think he only does English. As far as I know. Yeah. You would think he could do the Chinese, right? Good recording and I'm pretty happy with, with the oh, footage great. I got. I'm gonna cut down a little bit to make sure that I do uh, get enough time at least half an hour. Then you're gonna post it? Is that what you do? On YouTube, yeah. Because oh, cool. it's my job to do YouTube. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. nice. Cool. What's your, uh, what do you post it under? What's your it's, YouTube name? My name is Jonathan. Jonathan? Yes, Jonathan. What's your YouTube? My name is Jonathan Penzone. P-I-N-Z-O-N. Okay. Yeah, that's my YouTube right, channel. I'll look for it. Am I going to be in it? <laughs> yeah, within seconds you'll find it. I mean, am I going to be in your video? Yeah. You take us standing here? Of course, yeah. Oh, okay. Just want to make sure that it's good enough for, yeah. for highlights, you know what I mean? Yeah, because I do cut a lot of things to make sure that it doesn't go too long, you know? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. All right. Yes, yeah, nice meeting you. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Take care. <laughs> yeah, of course. Great. So yeah, this person was a friend and relatives of James Hong. I mean, as I mentioned, all families here. Uh, my third time mentioning it, but hey, it's just fun to meet these people. You know, like celebrity-related families. You know what I mean? Oh, here comes James. You know what? He's, I love his red lucky suit. You know what? This is very unprepared, but... Oh, sorry. We're moving. Well, here it is, you guys. The star is over there. In the perfect spot. Well, guys, I think that's about it for, for today. It has been interesting at least. Pretty mixed on the ceremony. Well, the ceremony was good. I like it a lot. It's the way they presented, the way they they organized it by the by the cops and everyone else. It's it's not good. <laughs> Put us as far away as far away as we could see. I don't know why they do that, but, but you know what? It's a good ceremony. I like it a lot. I love James Hong to his family. Thank you so much for appearing in my awkward cameos. <laughs> Oh my god, I actually had a good time, so I just want to say is thank you guys for watching. I apologize for my quality on this one. <laughs> I apologize for the pretty bad audio I've been having because I just got a new microphone. Which, by the way, it's only going to be used in situations where I'm talking pretty close to. Pretty excited to use it, and yeah, I guess that's it. Th thanks again. Oh my god, I lost my train of thought. I just want to say is thank you guys for watching and take care, okay? Take care.